don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell welcome back uh, to the channel the weekend is upon us we have amazing fixtures look forward to as i said yesterday and today we're going to preview the game between kumasi asante kotoko and es setif now es setif have already arrived in the country and they arrived yesterday at the kotoko international airport great to see them in the country and they have undergone everything the clearance everything that all the protocols they need to go through they have done that and it is safe to go they are a goal for this game now kumasi asante kotoko are looking to qualify for the cup confederations cup group stages after they failed in the cup champions league second preliminary round they failed to go through um, after the issues with the second leg between them and our hela not being played so the porcupine warriors have a chance here in the confederations cup the porcupine warriors arrived in accra themselves on thursday and have been basing here in the capital preparing for the game at the accra sports stadium we'll be talking about that and also the afcon under 20 a championship the afcon under 20 championship will also kick off this weekend the 14th of february and ghana have left their shores and the black satellites have left the shores of ghana and they have left ahead of the game in nordipu mauritania the host there they will be based in a nordipu where they'll be camping in nordipu for the competition and we'll also be talking about them today subscribe if you haven't uh, click on the notification bell uh, to get more updates so we'll just jump right into it and we'll talk about kumasi asante but first uh, the opponent es tip and uh, no mean uh, opponent and uh, no walk over opponent es tip arrived in the country yesterday ahead of their game with the porcupine warriors the cap a confederations cap playoff places the porcupine warriors are looking to qualify over two legs that is next week they travel uh, to Algeria uh, to face ES Setif. And now ES Setif arrived in the country yesterday afternoon and they went through everything they needed to go through. They have undergone their COVID test. The results are all negative and that is great news. No tricks, no anything at all can be done uh, that can influence the results now as uh, where the accusations in previous games we had here in the country. They have been cleared all the boys have tested negative now kumasi asante kotoko themselves have uh, been preparing assiduously for this game they have been in a rich vein of form uh, taking them to the top of the ghana premier league after beating carola united 2-0 uh, on uh, sunday uh, Ibo ibrahim and kwame poku who recently earned call-ups to the ghana black stars were on target on that day great news for them six kotoko players have earned call-ups into the ghana black star squad that was released yesterday and it is great that the es certif game has come just in time rich vein of form the boys are in i have to say i am expecting them probably to get a 1-0 victory from this game it will not be easy yes setif themselves are on top of their league so it's a clash of league leaders from algeria and ghana here the boys are trained yesterday at the accra sports stadium ahead of the game and it was great to see them there preparing well for the game and i am wishing kumasi asante kotoko all the very best in this uh, cup confederations cup playoff game against es city my prediction is a 1-0 victory for the porcupine warriors and mind you these two teams have never met each other before i did a research a little bit of research kumasi asante kotoko have not played es city before unless i'm mistaken and you have another source i think the two this will be the first time they lock horns and what a clash it will be my prediction is a 1-0 victory for the porcupine warriors at the accra sports stadium i don't think they'll have enough to score more goals uh, which they should but should that happen i'll be excited but that is my prediction let me know what you think in the comments box how do you think the porcupine warriors will do versus es in this cup champions league game let me know what you think my next story 
has to do with uh, the under 20 side the black satellites they have left the shores of ghana ahead of their games that they are going to take part in in the afcon under 20. now the black satellites uh, were qualified for this tournament uh, owing to the fact that they won the wafu under 20 zone b competition back in december uh, they beat burkina faso in the final 2-1 uh, to lift the trophy and effectively qualify for this tournament here to represent uh, ghana as one of the 12 nations at this tournament being hosted in mauritania tomorrow it kicks off at 8 pm gmt as mauritania the host uh, play cameroon uh, but the ghana contingent has left the shores of the country with 26 uh, players uh, on the team that went for the tournament now the ghana under 20 male side departed uh, to mauritania uh, for the 2021 CAF under 20 african cup of nations now the tournament is taking place from february 14th to march 6th a delegation made up of 26 players nine technical team members and officials and the management team left accra on saturday to nodibu where ghana will be based black satellites are in group c and where they have been pitched against morocco tanzania and the gambia and our coach abdul karim zito's side will face off with tanzania in the opening game on february 16th that's on tuesday uh, before three days later scoring off with morocco and eventually gambia in the final group game the tournament's hosts uh, mauritania are in the same group with uganda uh, cameroon and mozambique uh, while burkina faso tunisia namibia central african republic have been drawn in group b now the black satellites uh, qualified for the competition after reaching the final of the wafu zone b competition in benin where they went on to beat burkina faso to secure the trophy ghana won uh, the afcon under 20 they have won it before in 2009 in 93 as well they won it as well as in 1999 in 2009 they went on to win the world cup after beating brazil in an epic penalty shootout in the final of the tournament stage in egypt here africa these are the players that have traveled with the ghana under 20 side william emmanuel isu Philemo Bafo, Benjamin Aloma, Nathaniel AJ, Frank Kwabna Asenki, Emmanuel Isiam, Matthew Kujo Enim, Samson Ejapon, Precious Boa, Daniel Efriye, Banye, Mohamed Suleiman, David Kujo, Patrick Mensa, Ivan Anoche Mensa, Ofori Makafi, Apia Kubi, Eric Ansu, Apia Samuel Koshi. Dan Lad Ibrahim of Kumasi Asante Kotoko, Abdo Fatau, Samuel Abi Ashikwe, Fred Boating, Emmanuel Ajimandria, Yuse Al Hassan, Josefo Barnes, and James Ampofo. So these are the boys that are going to represent Ghana in Mauritania. They will be based in the northern part of Mauritania, Nodebo. That's where they will be based for this competition we wish them the very very best in this tournament and uh, we wish the boys uh, bring back the trophy into the country let me know your predictions for ghana in this afghan under 20 how far do you think the black satellites can go in the competition your thoughts in the comments box so that has been it for today kumasi asante Bontoko all set for the esf game no positive test after the covid results came they are all tested negative and that is great news that the boys have also trained and are ready to go for the game tomorrow the calf confederations cup playoff game and also they have gone under 20 the boys the black satellites have departed for mauritania your thoughts on everything in the comments box i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day